How do you apply exponents to fractions? I just want to remind you that this section is from 7-4 out of your Holt textbooks. And we've already practiced this concept in class, but we're going to um, review and expand on it by using some complex examples. So I've already shown you the shortcut on, and the property on how to value this expression, but we're going to do it the long way. So that means we need to write 3 to the 5th four times since we have an exponent of four. So we get three to fifth times three to the fifth. I know this says a four, let me erase that. So it should say five, there we go. Times three to the fifth, times three to the fifth. So in total we have three, or excuse me, four threes up top and five fours in the bottom. So instead of having to write it all out and then count how many we have. We could have just distribute the 4 to the 3 and to the 5. So instead of um, writing all out, we do that. And here is our simplified expression. And of course, if they had the same base, we could simplify it more. So this is how we apply. We use, in a sense, the distributive property to help us evaluate exponents when we have a fraction. Here are two examples to practice the concept. So we have uh, 4 sevenths to the square power, which would be 4 squared over 7 squared. 4 squared is 16. 7 squared is 49. And this is as simple as we can get it. And we're finished with part A. Example B, we have to actually apply order of operations. We need to work with the innermost parentheses first. So we're going to work with this. And then we're, we're worried about the 2 on the outside. So now I'm going to have still 2x to the third. And this is going to be over x to the third y to the third, n squared. And there's actually two ways I can do this. I can go in and start distributing the two, or I can um, simplify the x third over the x third. And actually, I'll do that first because it's just going to end up being one, right? x to the third over x to the third is going to give me one. So now I'll have, let's do it on this side, two over y to the third squared power. And then I'll distribute the square here, or I'll just uh, distribute it and distribute it down there. So I get 2 squared, it's an ugly 2, and then y to the third to the squared power, which gives us 4 for the numerator. For the denominator, we get y to the, and notice we have the multiply here because I can circle them, so that's y to the sixth power. And this is our final solution. The previous property showed us what to do when you have a positive exponent, and now I'm going to show you what we need to do when there's a negative exponent. So I'm going to go again the long way, and the long way uses the last property we just learned about distributing the exponents. So I'm going to get 3 to the negative fourth over 5 to the negative fourth. And then because they're negative, I'm actually going to have to reciprocate in this case, bring the 3 to negative fourth below and the 5 to negative fourth up top to make them positive and happy. So my final response is 5 to the fourth all over 3 to the fourth. So then you're probably thinking, okay, well, I understand that, but what is the property telling us? Well, the property is saying that instead of us distributing and then switching places, we can switch right away. So I'm going to rewrite this as 5 all over 3. And when I switch what's on the inside, then I have a positive exponent on the outside. And then I distribute, just like I always do, and I get 5 to the I get 5 to the 4th. Oops. 5 to the 4th all over 3 to the 4th. And that's my final response. Ignore uh, this line. I accidentally touched a different button. Okay, so there's two ways to do this. You can do it this way up top, or the second way to do the problem is down here. Both ways give us the correct answer. The next two examples are pretty complex, so we'll take our time on them, and I'm going to need to enlarge the paper because I want to make sure that we have our full attention to these two examples. And we're going to apply uh, the properties, all the properties now that we've learned for the past two weeks, including the ones that we just learned from this video. So let's look at example C. Since I have a negative exponent on the outside, I'm going to switch what's on the inside right away so I can get rid of the negative and have a positive exponent. When I do that, the negative 2 becomes a positive 2. And then I'll distribute here, here, and it also has to go to the 2. So I'll get y to the 6 power over 2 squared and x to the 4th power. I don't need to simplify further because we know what 2 squared is. So I get y to the 6 all over 4 
x to the fourth power. And if I had x and x or y and y, then I can uh, simplify further, but since they're different bases, this is our final answer. Now let's take a look at example uh, D. So we, we might need a lot of space for this one because we're going to have to evaluate them separately and then combine them. So let's evaluate the first one here, and I'll do that in red. For that one, we're going to switch the uh, switch the fraction, and it's going to make the negative exponent positive. Oops, I just realized I did that in blue, so we'll just make that one the blue one. Okay, that won't be the blue one, and then let's make the other one the red one. So now that's going to be 2n all over 6m to the positive 3 power. And I'll simplify it further. So the blue now becomes uh, 3 squared, which is 9 over 2 squared, which is 4. And we're going to multiply by the red, so that becomes 2 to the third power is 8. And then n, so notice I'm distributing the 3 here, 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 and to the 6. And so then I get 8 into the third up top, and the 6 to the third power is going to give us 6 times 6 times 6. which gives us 216. I had to use my calculator real quick. <laughs> I cheated a little bit. So I get 216 and then m to the third power. And then I just uh, multiply straight across or I could cross cancel. Notice we're just getting really big numbers here. So I get 9 times 8, which is going to give us 72, n to the third power. And then I'm going to do 4 times 216 and get 864 m to the third power. And I wonder if we could simplify that further. So I'm going to try to um, divide 864 by 72 and see what we get. 864 divided by 72 gets us 12. Okay, so then this cancels out and becomes a 1. This cancels out and becomes a 12. So our final answer is n to the third over 12 m to the third power. Okay. So this example, I want to redo that one in class, and we'll practice that a little bit. Um, also, if you had difficulty, make sure you pause and rewind the video and rewatch it so you can get the uh, information that you need.